Hi Capricorn, welcome to your general tarot forecast for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any information that you need about me. Uh, decks I'm using, personal reading information is also below, social, me social media links. Uh, I have merchandise, have all kind of links down there, so please go uh, check that out. Uh, ways to tip or donate and uh, my mail is there and my Amazon wish list if you choose to send a gift or anything like that uh, and if you do thank you and a uh, quick shout out to all my new subscribers thank you thank you those who have reached out for personal readings thank you so much and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation for doing these free readings for you is greatly appreciated so any support you show this channel in any way shape or form is truly truly appreciated in the channel's growth and being a part of that and I just want to say thank you so much for letting me do this for you and I love to do it so let's see what's going on with Capricorn for the month of November now this is a general tarot forecast so we're gonna take whatever comes out um, it could be about love it could be about uh, work career finances it could be about family issues friend issues I don't anything could come out here so just gonna take whatever comes out only take what resonates throw away the rest um, I have all that in the description box below if you're not sure about tarot if you're new you know it can be past present or future energy um, it could be about somebody around you if it's not you but maybe it affects affects you in some way so please keep that in mind all right it's a general collective reading it's not a personal reading so please keep that in mind also wow okay so I think the cards are ready so this is zodiac oracle we could get a uh, sign element or planet so whatever comes out here, and if this doesn't resonate with you, this part, that's totally fine. Sort of like a little extra bonus, especially if it's a sign and you're like, well, I'm not dealing with anyone with that sign or anything like that. That's totally fine. So what do we have for Capricorn? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, happy fall. Happy November. So that's too many. I just want one for Capricorn for November. We'll take that one. Pluto which I do believe is Scorpio. So if it's not Scorpio, you can have Scorpio in your chart. Um, for some of you, maybe your moon sign or your rising sign or something, or even your Jupiter sign or something. If you don't have Scorpio in your chart, totally fine. Or maybe you know someone who has heavy Scorpio in their chart or something like that. And we have 22, which is four. Fours are all about foundation and stability. So Pluto here is about life, death, rebirth, birth, sex, power, control. So it's all about the basic instinct, uh, instincts and things like that of just the human body. So, you know, it's all about life, death, you know, that's birth. So life, death, birth, rebirth, sex, power, and control. So that's a lot of energy there. So I don't know. We'll see if that means anything in this reading for you, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with you, Capricorn. Let's get your opening message. Let's get an opening message for Capricorn. What's Capricorn's opening message? Oh, that's two. Capricorn's opening message. Spirit team, what do they need to know? What is Capricorn's opening message? And we have Life Review, Archangel Jeremiah will take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So there's something here you need to review in your life. It could be anything. It could be a relationship. It could be your job. It could be your finances. It could be your friends, your family. Something here uh, just or something within you that you need to heal or change. So I don't know. You could, you know, something could be uh, unbalanced or imbalanced for you. So, you know, power and control. There just may be something that you need to take power over, take control over to bring change and balance to. All right. So, all right. So let's get your energy. Let's get your energy. Victory. Wow, well, that's a good energy. Archangel Sandalphon. And this was this is the Archangel deck, and this was Archangel Jeremiah. So if you're familiar with the Archangels or whatever, these may be uh, maybe 
couple you need to do research on or uh, something like that or become familiar with. Victory, Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So, hmm, something here you're praying about or you're wondering about or you're looking for answers and this is telling you that the victory is coming just to have faith. It could be something in your life that <clears throat> you, sorry, you reviewed or you're trying to change. I don't know. Okay, so it's on the bottom of the deck. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. So some of you might be really making a big, big change in your life. That was Archangel Ariel. So we have Ariel, Sandalphon, and Jeremiah. So you may want to look those up. Maybe do some research and maybe they can help you in this journey. All right, so, or if you are, you know, into angels, archangels, if any of these you feel you have a connection with and they're here showing up, then that's just a uh, confirmation that they are around you, helping you, guiding you. All right, so let's do some clarification for you. Capri uh, Capricorn. I just did Taurus, so and you're both Earth signs, so I was almost going to say Taurus. All right, so I base the readings on uh, views, so if a certain sign's views are the highest, then their next readings will be first, so it goes highest to lowest, so... And I do that with every um, reading that I do. So I do four different types of readings. So I look at the last batch I did and I see who was the highest views to the lowest. And that's how I put out the next videos. So, all right. So Capricorn. Okay. So we have the Ace of Cups here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is about new love. So... This could be a divinely guided new love coming in for you. And it says to spread new wings and victory. So it may be you're reviewing this potential. I mean, you could be in a relationship right now and you're wondering, you know, is this something that I want to uh, really invest in because you have the eight of pentacles here. It's funny I just said that. And I've seen this, but it didn't really, you know. And now the eight of pentacles, which is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is working hard, putting in the effort. So it's like, this could be a new love and you're wondering, you know, do I, you know, really want to invest in this? Do I really want to work on this new love? But this is a divinely guided new love here. And you see the dove above there all lit up. This is being handed to you from uh, the divine energy from source. Love, emotions, overflowing, total fulfillment, happiness and joy. And right there is like love victory. <laughs> that is love victory right there. So if you're wondering about, um, if you're reviewing this, like, you know, do I really want to do this? You know, do I really want to do it? And, uh, you know, and that Pluto energy, you know, is about, you know, life, death, rebirth, sex, power, and control. Maybe it's just a, a fun relationship right now. And it's like, do I want to... No, invest in it any further you know do I want to just keep it fun and light and you know just a playful relationship or do I really want to invest into a deeper relationship and I think you're really revealing that for some of you so what else what else what else the three of cups so you know, this is going out, having a good time. It could be with friends, family. It could even be with this person, you know, reuniting with them. If you haven't been, you know, with them, um, you know, maybe you took some time to yourself here and you're thinking about this and doing that review, you know, but this is an energy of coming back together, reuniting, you know, having a good time, going out for a drink or, you know, being happy, celebrating. So... I mean, the energy is here to come together and uh, have this divinely guided victory in love. Wow. So let's get a couple more. So we got the sun. Oh, my God. Leo. 
energy. So this is happiness, joy, success, and victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family, growth, abundance, everything positive with the sun. Wow, this is definitely could be soulmate twin flame here energy with the sun and the ace of cups wow all right so let's get one more what one more for capricorn the su success and victory again we have such aries energy but it doesn't have to be wow success and victory again and you see the sun there again so wow Ace of Cups, the Sun, Six of Wands, Victory, Victory, and Victory here. Victory, and we got Victory twice there. Wow. This is a a big love victory. And if you're if you're just like you retreat if you've re retreated and you're just like on your own, like, you know, just really thinking about this and like, do I want to work on this? Do I want to invest in this? Do I want to go deeper than this? Wow, all the energy is here for that. And I think you know that, but for some reason, you're just kind of like hesitant about it. And Spirit's telling you, spread your wings here to go for it. Because, you know, you got the dove here. Wow. So let's get your actual situation. It's way too many. Your actual situation for you, Capricorn. So, yeah, you're single right now. Nine of Pentacles energy, your energy, Cancer, um, cancer yeah. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So being very single, dependent, you no know, independent on your own. You know, you're successful. You can take care of yourself. You make your own money. It's like, you know, I'm fine on my own. Did you have the eight and the nine? It's like, I can make my money. I'm a hard worker. I'm independent. I'm successful. I'm, you know, I've had growth, abundance. You know, I'm fine on my own. But, but now you have right in the middle of your spread here is the fool. So this is jumping right in, taking the leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine. Just like here with spread your wings. So spirit is trying to tell you here to spread your wings and take that leap of faith. To spread your wings and take that leap of faith. Resetting, restarting at zero. And just going for it. So yeah, you're, it's like you're looking at that new beginning. It's like, do I want that? I don't know. I'm so independent. I'm so self-sufficient. I don't know if I want to take that leap. I just don't know. Oh, okay. The three of wands. Yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting. It's like you see it. You see that new beginning. You see the sun there. You know, you see it. It's there. It's waiting for you. You're waiting for it, but nobody's moving. You're not taking any steps towards that. It's like, I'm just, just going to sit here, do my review, think about it, and I'm not sure. Because you got your back turned to the to the fool here, back turned, and you're looking at it, but you're not leaping. You're not leaping yet. I think you want to leap. Part of you does, but then part of you doesn't. But you've got so many cards here of success and victory and happiness and enlightenment and healing so much good energy and you know spirit there is trying to tell you just to spread your wings and don't hold back and just jump right in with the fool oh all right what else the four of pentacles yeah you're holding back exactly virgo taurus capricorn you're holding back you're not giving into it and you're holding back from it so you're holding back from this and you're not giving into this. You're just kind of staying stuck and kind of off on your own here. Still thinking, thinking, thinking about investing in this. Oh, one more. One more for your actual situation. The lovers. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Soulmate twin flame energy here. Gemini. Doesn't have to be. Yeah, and this is making a decision. Do I want this? And here's that angel trying to bring the soulmates together. And we have all these angels here telling you to go for it. And there's even the angel there. And, and they're trying to show you this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. Take that leap. Spread your wings. Dive right in. Stop hesitating. Wow. All right, so... 
Let's get your advice, Capricorn. Let's, okay, we'll take that. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords. Okay, so no, wow, this is your advice. So whenever I get the Queen of Swords energy here, Spirit has me read this as divine energy. Now, the Queen of Swords can be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It can be an energy of standing up for yourself, cutting away things no longer serving you, having truth, clarity, telling it like it is and not holding back, standing up for yourself and not taking any BS kind of energy. So you could be in that energy or this is divine energy here telling you that you will be in this energy if you let this go. You will be so heartbroken if you let this person go. I mean, this can speak of third party Heartache, loss, you know, deep, deep pain and hurt. But your advice is, because if you add this sword to these three swords, and I never had done this before, but Spirit just pointed that out to me. If you add, and there goes the train. I don't know if you can hear that. So divine energy here is telling me with truth and clarity. And I'm not trying to like boast, but... <laughs> um, that this sword added to these three swords is the four swords. If you leave this behind and you don't jump in with this soulmate, that will bring you so much happiness draw, uh, happiness and joy, growth and emotional fulfillment and love fulfillment in every single way you can imagine. Moving forward, this is your divine counterpart, your soulmate. That's what divine wants you to see. And if you don't, you will have the four swords energy after, which is healing and thinking and contemplating and retreating and a lot of healing work you'll have to do because you'll be so heartbroken once once you really think about it if you let this go and then you think about it and then you're going to feel the hurt the pain the sadness the loss and then the four swords you're going to have to heal from that energy wow oh wow capricorn okay and now if you feel like um capricorn that uh, you're waiting on somebody this could be their energy so keep that in mind and if you're not seeing that you don't know that if they're not speaking to you they could just be in this energy right now and this could be something that you need to know all right so let's so this is the advice it's either you or somebody you're dealing with so take it how it resonates so we have temperance here so this is the angel that brings the soulmates together so she's mixing fire and water. She's doing something nobody could do. But she does this because she is a divine angel that can bring soulmates together. So and this is about balance. So there's a lot of balance in this connection. Uh, there's peace. There's harmony. Patience. Um, divine energy is all there with temperance. You know, and with the advice is to... You know balancing yourself out tempering yourself you know thinking about this being patient or asking them to be patient you know you may need to communicate with them with the queen of swords you know if you haven't been communicating maybe you need to or this could also tell you that maybe your person will eventually communicate maybe they're trying to balance themselves out um someone's really trying to balance themselves out or they need to because this is advice see what else we have here so the six of swords so the advice here is to go in this direction Libra Gemini Aquarius so this is going in a better direction this is going into a more, into a more healing balanced harmonious peaceful place a better place so this connection can bring you to a better place that you couldn't even imagine it's all divinely guided here because you got the six and the three, which is a nine, and then the queen over here, which is ten of swords. So that's ten of swords is usually a painful ending. So if you decide to end this, you, you're going to be so heartbroken over this loss after after it's said and done that uh, you're going to be in a lot of pain. Or they, if they let this go, they'll be in a lot of pain. Somebody will be in a lot of pain. But things can go in a better direction here. Oh boy. So let's get the possible outcome. Let's get the possible outcome. I almost had one flip. Okay. 
possible outcome for you, Capricorn, in this situation? No, I don't feel comfortable taking that. Okay, there we go. Okay. Judgment. Scorpio energy. Doesn't have to be. And Pluto here is Scorpio. So this is about resurrection, forgiveness, uh, resurrecting something of the past. You know, do you want to resurrect this? Have forgiveness for some reason and forgiveness needs to be had. Um, reuniting, coming back together, having peace and harmony. Did you see all the white there? And making a final judgment call, making a final decision. So outcome is... <laughs> making a final decision. Someone needs to decide on this. This is a strong soulmate connection here with the sun, the lovers, the ace of cups, temperance. It's all divine soulmate energy here. All right, so what else for this possible outcome for judgment? Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? What will the judgment be? What will the judgment be? The emperor. Aries energy. So someone's going to take control, take charge of the situation. Someone's going to come forward with their final decision here with the Aries energy. Someone will be confident enough to sit in that throne and make a final decision and come forward and take that leap with the fool energy and state what their judgment is here. And just taking charge. Someone needs to or somebody will. This is the possible outcome. So somebody will make a final judgment and be strong enough to come forward with that. But what will it be? I don't know. So what will the final judgment be in this connection? I just want one. One more. One more for Capricorn. The Nine of Wands energy. So... You know, this is an energy of the wounded warrior. You know, it's been through a battle, a struggle, a fight, but has, you know, endurance and perseverance. It keeps wanting to fight on. So somebody, you know, may, may, you know, if one is still in stagnant, if it's you or the person you're dealing with, I feel like the other will just finally make the judgment call to come forward and say, look, I want to fight for this. You know, I love you. I feel like we're soulmates or whatever here. And I just want to fight. I don't want to give up. You know, can we, can we, what can we do here? I don't want to give up on this connection. This, you know, he looks like he's kind of giving up, but he's just resting, you know, he's just resting, you know, he can keep fighting on if he has to. So, you know, somebody will take charge, make the judgment call to take charge, take control, come forward and say, look, I'm not giving up so easy, no matter what you say. I want to take this leap of faith. I'm tired of waiting. If I lose you, you know, speaking up with the truth, if I lose you, I'm going to be so heartbroken and sad. I know you're stable and independent. I know you're a hard worker. But can we come, can we get together? Can we talk? Can we celebrate? Can we have a good time? Because it's a divinely guided couple love there. So, okay. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's not taking any action. Here's a Scorpio Pisces. It's just an energy of waiting. Is that offer going to come in? Should I accept the offer? Should I send the offer? Will they accept my offer? That kind of energy. Just feeling like blah and thinking, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Knight of Wands, like I said, someone's going to take action here. Fire energy now, Leo Sagittarius. Somebody feeling very passionate about this. Is just going to get up in that emperor energy, take action and come forward. A lot of drive, ambition, and passion and want to fight for this. This is a warrior. The knight is a warrior. Someone wants to fight for this. And someone's going to come forward with that. Now we got the queen of wands. King or queen, doesn't matter. Emperor, empress, doesn't matter. But, you know, coming forward with a lot of drive, ambition, courage, strength, uh, being brave, just going for it. Someone's just going to go for it. You know, conflict, you know, inner conflict, conflict, competition. Um, somebody's tired of waiting for the other one. 
of doing this reviewing, having all this inner conflict and not taking any action. So you know what? That person's going to take action with the Eight of Wands. Action, movement, travel, communication, either online or face-to-face, -face, texting, passionate, strong energy moving forward. Because there is love here with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, somebody really, really loves you or is in love and really wants to speak their truth here with the king of swords this is a divine and i had said that divinely guided soulmate energy here the star is divinely guided aquarius energy here doesn't have to be so healing energy faith hope optimism wishes dreams coming true and a whole new world a whole new world closing out and then the ace of wands holy crap passionate new beginning exciting new beginning and you have the ace of cups so this love this passion whole new cycle closing out the cycle that's not working here having a whole new world a whole new cycle with this person divinely guided soulmate energy here a lot of healing energy someone wants to speak their truth with the king of swords about how much they love the other person and they will communicate that because they're tired of waiting for the other one to come out of this um mental conflict within themselves so they're going to take control in that passionate fiery energy take charge lead come forward it's tired of waiting wow it's a lot of energy in my throat and there goes the train again so <laughs> beep yep spirit saying yep okay <laughs> all right okay so my throat just got very scratchy so someone needs to communicate capricorn you are them oh boy i'm feeling a lot of strong energy here so a lot of confused energy, a lot of energy of tired of waiting and wondering. And someone just wants to take charge and come forward. All right. So Capricorn, let's get some extra messages for you for November. But if Capricorn, you do like my style, you do like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, please do hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general collective reading like this. I do a love connection reading. I do a um, singles reading for those who are single, who's coming towards you, when we are how, what kind of connection it will be. And I also do a spirit guide messages, what you need to know at this time from your spirit guides or from spirit. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. All right, Capricorn, let's get some extra messages for you in this wow and usually i try to keep the general readings general but now i'm like okay i'm just gonna take because i do so many um different styles of readings i'm like okay now with these generals i'm just gonna take what it comes out and if i feel it's love i'm just gonna say it's love or if it's whatever so there's only a few readings this month i think this is the third one it was actually about a love situation so all right what other messages do we have for capricorn goblins so five so that's five is about change so this could be negative people negative uh people negative energy toxic energy either around you or them somebody may be filling their head with all kind of negative energy or just people dragging you down or them down with just their negative thoughts their negative energy then negative uh ideas and thing, advice and things like that but something needs to change in that something needs to change about that and this could be the life review of getting rid of that toxic energy that's no longer serving you that's what the queen of swords energy here if you've got family or even friends that are very toxic energy and you're like you know what i've been wanting to cut this person out or whatever but maybe you feel guilty because they are family, whatever. You know what? You got to do what you got to do. All right. So let's see what else do we have. What else do we have? Something needs to change with the five there is all about change. Somebody, and I see all these eyes. So somebody could be watching like every little thing you're doing or every little thing that um, your person's doing or something like that. Ghostlands. Yeah, so you could have ghosted each other. 17 but then that's eight and that's about that communication movement travel action ghostlands yeah 
could be uh, you ghosted them, they ghosted you, somebody ghosted somebody here. It's like a ghost land. It's like frozen in time. No action, no movement, just kind of ghost each other. All right, so what else do we have here? Mountain. Yeah, so again, mountain, obstacle, um, tough battle, fight. But you see six there, again, uh, is that peace and balance. You know, maybe a hard mountain to climb here. A challenge, an obstacle. There may be people, places, and things that are an obstacle or a challenge, but things can change here. Or the mountain could be the obstacle, be uh, ghosting each other right now. And maybe, you know, this affair, you know, what are people telling them? What, you know, what's going on? All right, let's get one more. Metamorphosis. So there can be a transformation in this. 25 is 7. Again, 27 uh, is a very uh, spiritual, divinely guided number. And I had said this. It's a very divinely guided, spiritual, soulmate connection here. So things can transform. Metamorphosis. People can change. They can change their mind. You can change your mind and transform uh, this connection here. Because you see the flamingos there. And I believe they mate for life. So this could be a life partner if you choose it. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh, oh my God, commitment. <laughs> commitment, oh my God. Nine, nine there. Wishes, dreams coming true. Wow, so I see commitment here. If you're worried, are they going to commit? Should I commit? <laughs> Spirit's telling you right here, commitment. Commitment transformation, climbing that mountain, getting over obstacles, but you're uh, ghosting each other right now. If somebody needs to cut out goblins that are around them. Okay, Capricorn. <laughs> Good luck to you. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.